Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ayata Vet here, bringing you a co-op gameplay of round 45 on the new map Origins. It was me and uh, You Take My Spot playing. This is our first time getting past round 30, and also our first time getting the staves, and we also upgraded two of them. You guys are going to love these things, they're awesome. Alright, we start out here, I'll show you some clips from our way to 45. Here on 40, uh, Spot takes it down. And these things are awesome. You can use the other end of the staff as a reviving tool. You shoot your shoot your partner with it, and it, it just instantly revives them. It's pretty cool. There you go, instant revive with those staffs. It's one of the four ways you can revive people in the new map. Uh, every every upgraded staff has that little end. You hit left on the D-pad to use it, and you shoot it. It also kills zombies too if you shoot at a zombie. Um, so that's our little clip there of that, and here we're going to show you the superpowers that this staff has. This is the wind staff that I was using, it makes a tornado if you charge it. You just hold the trigger down, let it charge, let go, and it shoots a tornado and sucks in zombies for another couple seconds after the initial wow. zombies are killed. So you can actually get more than 24 zombies killed with it. You can probably get close to 35 zombies killed with one tornado. Um, here we got another clip, round 42 training them up. We're bringing them all together to one area where I'm running. We can kill them all together. Reserve ammo. And we got an insta-kill off it. Um, what I was doing was running my trains on this little side here next to Jug in the mud. Uh, you definitely need stamina up to run in the mud because it really slows you down. With stamina up it's pretty much like basic normal speed because of the mud. So, And then you have the zombie shield on my back to protect myself. And that uh, the models are upgraded is the Boom Hilda, which is yeah. a really nice gun to have, especially with double tap. Even in the 40s, it's still killing you know, one, two shots, it'll kill a zombie, which is pretty sweet. Here, I took it down, got caught up there on the side of the wall. A little tricky of the spawns on this map, they kind of spawn out of anywhere, or jumped over walls, come out of the ground. There's a lot of spawn points, and they spawn really quickly. You can go through rounds very fast. Like in the early 40s, rounds were taking about six minutes a round, which isn't bad at all. Uh, he, he revives me with his staff, instant revive. And just throw a monkey, run back, get my jug back. Uh, this area is nice because the juggernaut machine's right here, so if you go down, you can grab your jug immediately. Uh, it's a pretty nice little area. He was, uh, you take my spot, was running his trains right at the actual jug machine. And unfortunately, a lot of crawlers were made from his lightning staff. And the monkeys, and he went down from too many crawlers around. Um, so I gotta make a decision to run back and try to grab him real quick. Hoping that the zombies will all pull away and not block me on my way back. But um, yeah, you just gotta be careful with the mud. Um, you stay on the boards, the wooden parts, you're fine. Um, this is actually one of my favorite maps now. I like this map a lot. At first, I didn't like it at all, I thought it was a little too crazy. But it's actually not bad once you get used to it. Those, uh, I just threw out the Maxis drone there. That'll actually kill zombies for you in any round. That'll still kill. Um, and it also will retrieve item drops for you. And it will revive you if you go down. If you're the person that released the drone, it will actually revive you if you go down. Which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll get spot back up. And those crawlers are fucking horrible. They just fuck with you all day long. But uh, get him up here again here. Some monkeys. These monkeys are actually a pain in the ass. Sometimes they don't even work at all. I had a lot of trouble with the monkeys. I don't know if it's the mud or I don't know what it is, but sometimes they just don't react to the monkeys. They just keep coming for you. I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm just going to get him his jug back here, train him up a little bit. Um, yeah, once you have the staffs upgraded, uh, like I have the wind one, which is like a basically like a thunder gun almost. You charge it and it shoots a hurricane and kills every zombie that's in the vicinity of it, and it even sucks in zombies from farther away. Um, his his one upgraded. His he has the lightning staff upgraded. That one shoots like a lightning bolt ball on the ground that kind of just like zaps all the zombies around it and kills them. It's pretty cool. And here these guys are going to attack the Generator 4 by Jug, so we got to keep them from attacking that because we need the Jug on in case one of us goes down. So I'm going to come over and shoot a Tornado here and just annihilate all these zombies. And just recharge the Generator here, get that back up. Pretty cool, I like tooting those guys. They give you a max ammo if you kill them before they destroy a Generator. And here this zombie foot comes, I wasn't paying attention, the robot foot comes and steps on me. I have no idea how I survived that. I don't know if it's because I have the staff maybe. 
I have no idea. Somehow I survived that stomp. I don't know what, maybe the foot was what? open, I have no idea. I know I've been up in the zombies to get the parts so you can actually shoot the bottom of the foot and get inside of them. But I don't know how I survived that. But I ended up going down after anyways. Round 44 here. Just get caught up against the wall again. Just gotta be real careful running around this mud. They spawn out of the walls and they'll just trap you against them. So let Spots come around and revive me here with his staff. It's, it's pretty sweet how this thing revives. What? And then, uh, yeah. I can come back and get my jug back. So basically, I get jug right away back, and then I go for stamina up after that. I run to the other side of the no man's land area on top and grab stamina up, and then I just deal with stamina up and jug until the round's over. At the end of the round, I'll get back, you know, quick. I usually get speed cola and double tap because of the boom hilda, which helps. Here, I'm in zombie blood mode, and I'm just gonna get ready to shoot a tornado here. Zombie blood mode actually kind of. I don't really like it. It's good if someone goes down and you grab one, you can revive them without the zombies hurting you. But I think zombie blood is actually more of a pain in the ass than anything because it attracts all the zombies to the person that's not in zombie blood mode. So it kind of can screw them over if they're in a bad spot. All the zombies will come for them. Um, but that the Maxis drone is just doing work, just tearing up these zombies. I love that thing. You can just get it every round, just grabbing other one. It's like a buildable. You usually get one every round and use it. it really helps out a lot. Um, and then here I'm just using my claymores. I was pretty much out of ammo for my Boom Hilda. Didn't have much ammo left for my staffs. So I didn't want to waste it all. So I'm just using my claymores up just to use those up. I had stockpiled on the side there. And here comes the center robot coming down the middle. So I know I gotta get out of there soon. And basically, when that comes, what I do is I go to the front of the front of the map here, in front of the jug, into the other mud area, so he can't stop me just so I don't run into Spot's area where he's running his trains by jog. I don't try, I try not to run through there because it might screw up his trains. I shoot a little tornado there, get out of that. And then here, the end of round 44, we use our reward for doing the six generators to get our max ammo. We redeem that between rounds that we had full ammo for the next round. And then we're going to go grab my zombie shield which is built right down here in the wind tunnel. Perfect spot for that zombie shield if you're running this strategy. Now we're gonna start at round 45. This was at four four o'clock in the morning here. We were getting pretty tired, so we decided at round 45 we're just gonna fuck it, just blow through our ammo, just screw around and die. We had no intentions of going anything past 45 because of how late it was. We had, this game been going on for uh, seven, almost eight hours because of building the staffs and all that stuff. It just takes time to set the game up and get get ready to play. Just a very time-consuming strategy. But once you get everything built. You can fly through the rounds, you know, seven, eight minutes in round 45 if you wanted to. But yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna mess around here, just blow through our ammo, just screw around a little bit, have some fun before we uh, just end up killing ourselves. I mean, we weren't trying to survive, but we were just basically like, oh, if we die, we die. We're not gonna try to go any farther. We we're getting pretty tired. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions about the strategy or the map, I'm happy to help you guys out with that. Pretty much know a lot about this map now. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite maps for Black Ops 2 now. I like it a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave a like or a comment if you want. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Not even being shy, I love you, it's crazy. What do you want me to grab? You want me to get it?
Not allow you to die, is what my character says. My electricity is glitched out all over the area. Someone better have my back. Oh, I'm dead. Ah. What? Uh, we can do whatever. I'm just gonna keep wasting all my ammo. I'm being reckless right now. You can get me. You can get me. If you die, you die. I'm happy with that. Look at that tornado, it's like a goddamn monkey right now, too. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> Oof. That was a good game. A little bit too many downs, but... Oh. Uh.